name is Coach Davey, and if you are receiving this link or watch this on YouTube, you more than likely have a, um, a child in third or sixth grade who's playing basketball this year. Um, trying something a little new. Actually, it's a lot new. Um, I videotaped my parent meeting with the high school uh, parents and sent it out on YouTube for parents that weren't there. And um, I think in your future years, I can just make a video and send it out. That way, we don't need to try to find time for everybody to meet. Um, and I, I would, I did want to also have a parent meeting uh, for the for the youth parents. But finding time is going to be next to impossible. So we're going to experiment with this. There's not going to be any special effects. There's not going to be any like awesome things going on. Just me, information, um, and I will send out this information in um, uh, a document as well, so you can watch the video or you can just look at the document. But I think it needs a little bit more coming from me personally. Um, last year, um, the youth program, I thought, had a lot of momentum, and it went, our, our season uh, went awesome. And when I look back at why that was, one thing kind of struck me is, in years past, I was always trying to do everything. I was trying to organize everything, um, be at everything, and it just, it was hard for me to, to do that and do a good job. Uh, but last year, more than any other year, um, I think parents, especially the coaches, were invested, they were involved, they were excited. And that translated to the girls. Um, and this year we have more girls participating in third to sixth grade than we ever have. Um, and I want to keep that momentum going. Um, I put together some information. Um, just ex not, I mean, expectations, yes, but just some general guidelines as a parent, not only for basketball, but just, just sports in general, just some good information. Um, so the first thing I have listed, and I have a script, so I'm just going to be reading a lot, um, is for the players themselves. Uh, there's four expectations that we have. Uh, have fun, be coachable be a good teammate, and learn about the game of basketball. And I think those things all speak for themselves. That's, for the most part, why, why people do sports. Have fun is number one. Um, we want them to be coachable. We want them to learn. We want them to be a good teammate. And we want them you know, to learn about the game of basketball. Um, all right, expectations for parents, which is where this is geared more uh, toward. Um, and I do want to say, I'm not saying any of the things that I'm going to talk about um, have I seen happen, or do I think they're going to happen? They're, if they're negative, um, and most of these I have never seen ever um, here at Wapsie Valley with our uh, youth team. So um, I don't want you to think I'm saying something because I've seen it. Again, this is just general information um, for you as a parent. All right, so our expectations for you as a parent are to assist your child in the four things that we want them to be able to do. Have fun, be coachable, be a good teammate, and learn about the game of basketball. So as far as having fun, don't make it more than it is. All right? It's a game and a youth game at that. It should be fun. There shouldn't be any pressure. There shouldn't be any expectations of, of winning or scoring baskets. It should be about fun. All right? And that, that the, the kids will feed off that from you. Um, you can ask your child, what was your favorite part about practice tonight? Or what was your favorite part about the game? To build on those, those positive moments. Um, studies show that players or what players want to hear most from their parents is two things. And this is not me, this is, this is actually studied. I'm proud of you, and I love to watch you play. Not about how they did, you know, even if they did very well, but kids want to hear their, that you're proud of them and that you like to watch them play. Um, studies also show the most dreaded time for an athlete is the car ride home and what comes with that. The coaching, and you should have done this, what about this? Even done in a positive way, um, Students and, or at, you know, athletes, they don't like that. Um, if children at a young age don't have fun or they feel the pressure or negativity outweighs the fun, they're just going to stop playing. And we don't want anybody to stop playing at a young age uh, because they're not having fun, because that's what sports is about. Um, your child's success in sports does not indicate what kind of a parent you are. But having an athlete that is coachable, respectful, a great teammate, mentally tough, resilient, and tries their best is a direct reflection of, of you as a parent. Um, when I think about my former athletes and players, the first thing that comes into my mind is not how good they were at the sport, it was what kind of a person were they? Um, were, were they fun to be with? Um, and when I watch our youth play, I don't think about, oh, that, that's a really good player. I look for, are they smiling? Are they having fun? Are they hustling? Are they happy for their, uh, the success of their teammates? And those things should be celebrated just as much um, as scoring a basket or winning a game. Uh, being a good teammate. Uh, there's all sorts of levels across each team, 
from third grade all the way to sixth. Um, assist your child in helping others um, by not putting them down or singling them, singling them out if they are confused or just don't understand the game of basketball very, very well. For example, rather than saying yourself or letting your child say, so-and-so just doesn't know what they're doing or they just don't get it, you could say, how can you help so-and-so to understand and learn? Because that's what good teammates do, all right? And that's part of being a good teammate. We want to be learn how to be a team. Uh, being coachable. Again, there's all sorts of uh, basketball levels across each team. Um, ask them what they're learning, what they have learned, and if they just aren't sure on something, maybe you can help them or encourage them to um, ask the coach. Um, and then just like in school, eye contact and listening. Um, learning about the game of basketball. Now, I put this last for a reason because if the top three things happen, they're having fun, they're being coachable, they're being a great teammate, then they're gonna learn about the game of basketball. But if those first three things aren't happening, they're probably not gonna learn much about basketball. So just like I, I told my high school parents, goal number one of me is not to make somebody a better basketball player, it's to make them a better person and help them grow, all right? And I, that still applies at the youth level as well. Um, other points. Uh, the coaches or volunteers have put in a great deal, a deal of their own time. Please be respectful to them. Um, any issues that may happen to come up, please contact me first. Um, I want to be that buffer for them. They are volunteers. If there is an issue that you feel needs addressed, please contact me first, and we'll deal with it in a, in a correct manner. Um, don't say anything in the heat of the moment and the emotion. All right, and That's just a good rule just in general. Um, our coaches have done an outstanding job, and I, I feel are a huge reason why more girls want to go out for basketball. All right, They hear their friends talking about it, having a positive experience, and our numbers have grown in just a year, which is awesome. Um, I, oh, um, I and the coaches want to over communicate. Um, so if you get something multiple times, please understand that. One of the things that I try to do a much better job of is communicating and, and, and being organized. Gym time can be a disaster and hopefully um, that is done now. Um, but there's nothing worse as a parent and I know is showing up for a practice and there's no practice or you're at the wrong place or something like that gets messed up. You know, that drives people away from basketball, and I don't want that to be a reason. So we're going to over-communicate, um, and the coaches last year were awesome at that, and that really helps me out if they can take over that part of it. Um, all right, so just a little story here. Uh, a mom is making eggs for her daughter as she walks in. Mom, don't burn them. Careful, careful. Don't mess up. Don't let them burn. You're going to mess up. Be careful, be careful. The mom says, I know what to do. I've cooked eggs before. And the daughter says, I know, Mom. I was just trying to show you what it's like when I'm playing basketball. I see this at all levels. You have two teams on the floor. You have girls instructing each other. You have the coaches trying to instruct the girls. You have the parents trying to yell at the girls of both teams. And it is a madhouse. And it's really, really confusing for the girls. Um, and it can, it can be really hard. I know this as a parent. Coaching from the stands, telling them what to do, it really causes more confusion than, than anything. Um, now, I have to say, last year was off the charts awesome with this. The gyms over the years have just been crazy loud. But last year, the coaches coached, and it was, it was really neat to see. So that is definitely something I have not seen, but try to limit the coaching from the stands because it really just does confuse the girls and they don't, they don't know who to listen to or who to, who to uh, pay attention to. Um, practices. Uh, we understand that most players are not gonna make every practice, okay? It's, it's, it's a youth sport. Um, we don't, you know, besides the jersey, I don't want you to financially contribute to this. I want it to be fun. Um, but do your best to get to as many practices as possible. Um, it becomes hard for coaches, especially the players, if they're having to play catch up and not sure what they're doing. Um, but the bottom line is we want girls to participate. And if there are, there's so many other things going on, if you have to, um, you know, if you, if you have to miss practices, uh, please let the coaches know. Um, but what, what, what I want as a head coach is, or what, what I don't want is I don't want, um, girls not playing as a youth because maybe they're in dance or they can't make every practice because those girls are not going to play in junior high and they're not going to play in high school. So I would rather have a girl 
um, you know, halftime play basketball because she may go out as, as a junior high girl. She may develop, you know, a love for the game. Um, but there's that fine line between, you know, if you're not there enough, you don't know what's going on, and it's probably not going to be fun. So um, from what I've seen this year and from last year, that has been awesome. So thank you very much. Um, it Takes a Village needs to apply more to our program. I have a lot of ideas and dreams, but I've learned the hard way um, that try not, trying to take on too much myself just doesn't work. Uh, last year, like I said before, more than any other year, I let go of a number of things and allowed a number of people to take ownership and become invested in the program. And the results speak for themselves. Just a few things we've done. Um, we had the most successful Wapsie League youth league that we've ever had, in my opinion. Um, almost double the girls participated this year. We went to a UNI bas uh, women's basketball game, and then for pizza afterwards, the dribbling dance divas, and a number of other things. Um, but most importantly, the excitement and the buzz about the program. And that happened because other people became invested, and I want to continue to do that, which is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Um, but I need your help to do that. Uh, I'm asking you to help assist, fund, plan, coordinate, or donate time. I'm not asking for your money. I mean. That's fine, but I'm not asking people just to give money uh, because I don't think that invests people. Um, and in this document I will send you, I have um, a link of ideas um, for you to donate something. Not necessarily money, but your time, your expertise um, in helping the program. Um, one of the things on there, and it, it's not a comprehensive list, it's just a list of ideas. and It's the same list that I sent to the high school parents. Um, but what I really, really, really need is someone to take on the organization of a food stand for our youth league. Um, we would need food and we would need workers. Um, if somebody or a group, it doesn't have to be one particular person, but if a group of people um, could organize a food stand on the four dates of our youth, youth um, league, that would be tremendous. Um, so please contact me with, um, if you would like to do that or are interested. Um, otherwise, any other questions you have, please feel free, ask a coach, ask myself, and hopefully we have another great season. Thank you.